Well, howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here. Just me and the critters. First, let me show you La Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Where is La Charlie? There is La Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, I'm going to get your toy. I got your toy. Do you not want your toy right now? Oh, you do want your toy. Okay, can I have your toy? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. <laughs> yep. So, anyway, there's Charlie. Nixie's over in the driver's side passenger seat. And Missy is right across. And doesn't my hair look great? I know. Been cleaning house. Fooling with the animals. This is what you get. Anyway, it is March 2nd, 2017. Um, Thursday. Wow. Thursday evening. It is 6.33 p.m. And let me do the weather. Been a beautiful day out. It's been a little bit cooler than normal. Um... Let me see, it is right now, it is 64 degrees, real feel is 66, the high was only 69 and the low will be 41 tonight, so it's going to get, it's going to get cooler tonight, so I'll probably have to, um, possibly turn that little ceramic heater on, yeah, we've been having a lot of traffic on this road lately, so anyway, that's all we got going on there, let's see, let me get out my cheat notebook, and then I have to remember to fill my pills up. And then we always, the A's and stuff, because on the tops of these pill things you get from Dollar Tree, the AM and PM always wears off really fast. So we always do that. So we got to fill those tonight. Anyway, yesterday you guys know we went shopping, and then we did a lot of sorting, which, you know, you always have to do, right? You know, you usually clean out your fridge right before you go grocery shopping. Then you got to sort it all, put it all away, and and all that good stuff. Um, Brad uh, grilled brats out last night. And um, actually, he did that while I was talking to my granddaughter and my daughter on the phone. Um, and I, uh, we had, um, I made a cucumber salad with cucumbers. Roma tomatoes and um, um, some red onion. Um, you just toss that in with some uh, ranch. Uh, I like that ranch dressing from Great Value. It's got the bacon with it. So just toss that in, you know, a little bit of ranch, and it's very good. Um, so I just had that and a couple brats. I did some looming. Um, this is the baby hat from the day before that I did. Um, and um, then I did this hat last night, the child size. I'm working on an adult one in bag right now. Um, and um, that was about it. Uh, we went to bed not real, real late because Brad had to go into work today at 1.30. Uh, excuse me. I slept pretty well. So did Brad. Uh, today, I was cleaning house, so I did a cleaned house and destroyed some nose art and talked with Miss Linda Kay on the phone. I texted with my friend Angie for a while and a uh, uh, few other friends and talked with my granddaughter a bit on the phone. I usually talk to my granddaughter about every day. Um, and... Um, just like I said, cleaning house and doing dishes and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, you know, just kind of a chill day. I'm watching that stupid giraffe, never gonna have that that baby. Can you imagine being pregnant for 15 months? Holy moly! About nine months was bad enough. And then my friend Linda was saying that you know when they. When they have that baby, that baby drops about six feet. What a rude a welcome into the world. So, all I've seen it do is poop a lot. 
That's all I've seen it do. Hmm. But yeah, I turn over there every so often to see if if we have have anything going on yet. Must be doing okay. I assume they're monitoring somehow. You know, probably not their first rodeo on that. Hmm. Oh, and uh, uh, I made breakfast burritos this morning. I used a third a pound of um, pork sausage and uh, some uh, mini bell pepper and some onion uh, and eggs. And then with mozzarella cheese um, on some very thin tortillas um, and salsa. Um, that's why I cook. Uh, like make sure Brad has a good meal before he goes to work. Um, that basically was, you know. Um, and then uh, I've got um, stuffing. I took a stuffing mix. Brad likes the cornbread stuffing mix. Um, and I added um, onion. I used white onion in that. And mushroom. Celery. Another third pound of pork sausage and an egg and spices and then about half the amount of water you would normally add to a stuffing mix because you're going to pick up moisture from the chicken that you lay on top so anyway I put this I made the stuffing mixture and put it in there you know not cooked in the crock pot um, uh, you know first you spray the crock pot or you can use a liner if you wanted to and then I laid the boneless, skinless chicken thighs on top of the stuffing. And then add a can of, um, you could add whatever kind of can, cream of whatever you want. I just happen to have uh, cream of chicken. So add a can of that. And I've had that cooking all day. And that'll be uh, ready for when he gets off work tonight. That's all I've been about doing. Um... I decided I'm not going to really talk about what, what I'm doing or not doing from now on um, uh, eating-wise as far as carbs and stuff because I just feel like there's too, there's too many people that are just ready to cut you down for whatever you do or don't do. And I really wish that we women weren't that way with each other. Because, I mean, realizing that whatever works for you may not work for the next person. And that we're all different and on our own different journeys and have our own different relationships with food and with our families and etc. And it really is too bad. And I was talking with my friend Linda, you know, and she echoed the same sentiment that she's not going to share what she does or doesn't do, you know, because she doesn't want to feel like, you know, she's being cut down. And it's like, you know, exactly. So, um, you know, just just know that I'm doing the best I can do. And I'm doing what works for me and my dynamics in my life right now. So, um, and that brings me to my topic today, is not being afraid to reach out to your friends. Um, you know, every once in a while I get lonely, and I do enjoy talking on the phone with, with my friends and stuff. Um, you know, we usually always kind of, check with each other to see if the other person's busy or not or kind of set up a time or whatever you know but I do really enjoy talking on the phone just not don't enjoy the video chat but um do enjoy talking on the phone with with my friends and and stuff and I always can can find time if you say hey you know what are you doing at the moment even if I'm busy doing something I'll say hey you know, can I call you in about 15 minutes or something? You know, and that all works out great for everybody. So, um, but don't be afraid to reach out. It's like my next door neighbor, I told you, you know, um, kind of flipped a biscuit on me, um, right after Christmas. Well, come to find out she has cancer. And so maybe that's why she kind of flipped out. I mean, you know, being scared and stressed out and stuff. You know, so it's like I've reached out whether or not she'll accept my help or not. Just to tell, hey, you know, I'm here if you need me. You know, I'm right next door. So if you need something, because, you know, you worry about she could be going through chemo and stuff and her husband has to work. 
you don't want her to be like you know sicker than hell by yourself and you know so you know I'll reach out and uh, you know because if I were in, in her shoes I would want somebody to reach out and have the comfort of knowing that somebody was close by if I you know really needed help you know that maybe she's too sick to make it from the bathroom back to her chair or something so you know and I notice when some of my other friends um, get quiet because I have a tendency to get quiet and withdraw when I'm stressed out or something's wrong and you know and you're like ah eh, something's going on because you know when they're not just a normal self isn't that what makes us all human is to kind of try and be there for each other this world is cold and hard is hard enough and cold enough without us adding to it so you know there's so much hatred and fighting and stuff in this world. I don't think we need to really add to it. That's just my thought. But anyway, I'm just having kind of a chill day. I'm having a good day. I'm having just kind of a relaxing day. I finally have all the dishes done, the housework done, all of that. So I'm going to finish this and then... I'm going to probably get my looming out and finish working on that um, adult hat. And, you know, uh, I haven't got to watch any YouTube videos today, so I'll get to watch some of that. Some YouTube videos and stuff. So, anyway, I hope you all are doing great. Um, you know, I will be sending out a package tomorrow to uh, Stevie Counts. So, and I will be sending that painting out tomorrow to Deb USA won the painting. So, I'll be sending that out. That's what I need to do before I start looming. I need to package that stuff all up. Huh? Yep, I do. Anyway, I love you guys and I do cherish your friendship so much. And I think you guys are awesome. Don't let anybody tell you different. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.